Nebraska. Hello, my trainer in this video is Han Plaz. I will explain what kickboxing is as a combination of kicking and punching techniques. Also, it is about grabbing your partner and striking your opponent with your knees. It is a contact sport for pleasure or for contest. The difference between training for yourself and for a match is short combinations, more action and reaction, more contact and conditional preparation for a match. Combinations and counters do not apply in the ring. It's more like a technical chess game of short attacks and counters. If you do it just for fun, it is a realistic approach to the truth and will benefit your body and mind with timing, conditioning, and achieving a goal. It will help you also with things in your normal daily life. In the next videos, we'll show you the basics but also the real thing up until the ring. Please remember that in one way or the other, the basics are so important because these techniques always come back at you. In this first video we will show you some punching and kicking techniques and these will be explained how to use these in a correct way and with simple combinations. Our special attention goes to the techniques balance and footwork and basic stances. These will be trained on the heavy bag for distance and coordination. Every training we start with a warming up, jump rope, shadow boxing, running and flexibility exercises. Here it all started for me in 1978, when I first walked in this gym, Majiro Gym in Amsterdam, Holland. Like with all sports, we start with a warming up. Here we start with rope jumping. This is a good warming up and good exercise for your rhythm. Rope jumping can be practiced for 10 to 15 minutes or even 20 to start off your exercises. Make sure the turning of the ropes comes from your wrist. So keep your arms beside your body. After the rope jumping, I start with loosening up my neck by moving it two times to the left sidewards and two times to the right sidewards. After that, two times forward and backwards. Then we make a big circle movement to the left and to the right, so the neck is free to move every direction. After this, we start with loosening up the shoulders by making big circles with the arms forward and backwards. The hips 
for the kick and knee. I rotate the lower body with stiff leg to the left and right. The same we do with the knees. I bend my knees, put my hands on my knee and rotate the knee to the left and right. Keep your butt down. I bend forward and stretch the lower back. Keep my legs straight. I keep my legs straight. Throw my body loose. Do a warm up before every training. I have one basic fighting stance with my left foot in front and my body weight is in the center at all times. My hands are next to my body and my other hand is next to my chin and my left shoulder is forwards. From the side you can see that my legs are slightly bent to have a good balance and my weight is in the center so I will be able to step forward and backwards to the side and still keep my balance and the weight in the center. Here I show all the basic punches we use in kickboxing like in boxing. I start with the left jab from a basic stance with the punch jab. I step in one and at the same movement forwards as my hand goes forward. So it's a one movement step punch and the right hand stays at my chin and step back to a basic position. Here you can see the left jab in a fight. I make a left step with the jab as my opponent comes in. So it's a crash. I step in but also back to make distance again. right straight punch. Here you see I turn my upper body in the punch and turn my arm, keep my chin behind my shoulder and keep my balance in the middle. You see I step in with my left leg and throw my body in the right punch but forget to keep my left hand by my chin but step good back to make distance after the punch left right straight punches now I do the left and right in combination so with the left jab I step in with left and, and the punch. As my left arm goes back to my chin, my right punch comes in and put my hips and shoulder in the punch and turn on the ball of my feet and step back to a basic position. Footwork. I step in with my left leg turning my right foot on the ball of my foot while I turn in my upper body and then turn back. Here you see making a not so perfect left hook while I'll step back. It's more only the arm and I not turn in my right shoulder.
right hook. With the right hook, I also step in with my left leg and at the same time turn in my body and make the right hook. My arm is go bent and left hand next to my chin and step back to a basic position. Keep your chin behind the right shoulder in the hook. In the slow-mo you see I make a fake left jab, step in with a hard right hook. My whole body is in the hook, not only my arm, and step back and make distance to make another right hook. So you can see the whole body is in the punch. Afterwards I step back, make distance to make another right hook. Left uppercut. I stand in with my left leg, turn my right shoulder in and turn back with a left uppercut. In the slow-mo you see I place a left uppercut from, from a clean spring position and still put my body in the punch. So you can see the shoulders and the body is behind this left uppercut. Right uppercut. I turn in my right shoulder in the punch and back again. I punch from my chin and not lower my right hand first to my middle, but turn it in with my body. With this upper, upper body movement, I step in with left and turn in with my right foot on the ball and step back. Here you see I make a right uppercut only with my right foot in front, but you see how I step and turn my, my body into the punch. So I step, turn in the body, and step back. Here I show how to step with every punch. That's very important if you want to make more punches in a combination. Then you have to step with every punch to keep balance and distance. So notice the footwork. Footwork is very important. Never walk with your punches or fall after them. If you want to put power in your punches, you have to have contact with both feet on the floor.
Here I show all the punches, but now on the bag. My former trainer Jan Plas is holding the bag, and he counts for me, so he controls me. You see, I have to step forwards the bag, and from the bag. I put my body in all my punches, by turning my body in the punches, and not punch only with my arm. I keep balance by centering my body weight and bend my legs to keep balance. Always pull your hands back to your chin. Notice how much power there is in the punches. With the uppercut we practice this before the sand sack. Notice the little steps in between, which makes it a powerful punch. Especially with the body punch, I turn my body in the punch to get my body in the punch. So step forward the back and turn my right shoulder to the back. Bend my upper body a little bit and put my weight on my left leg. I turn back and stay with my body low. Then I make a left jab, step back and a right punch, step back and a left right punch. Because of my step towards the back I can put power in my punches. Now I am making a left jab and a right hook, and later a right punch and a left hook. In both combinations I step and turn my body in the punches. Now I start to make more punch combination. Every counter is coming, one punch more is edited at the combination. I started with a left right straight punch, followed up by a left hook to the liver and then a left hook to the head, finishing with a right hand. Notice how I step back in the basic position, keep my balance in the middle and so I can punch with full power. When we're at the end of this combination, the trainer Jan Plas is speaking to me that we have to speed up and give him more power in the punches. Turn your body in every punch, and take time for every punch, and later turn up the speed and the power.
we see a left right straight punch followed up by a left liver punch now I'm starting with a left right straight forward punch followed by an uppercut finishing with a right straight punch Now we are doubling the right punch, so we see a double punch. This is surprising your opponent. Now I make 10 right punches with full power. The same I do with the left hook. And 10 more, but now a liver punch. For all these punches you take time, but make them with a KO power. Here you see some punches with KO power. Watch how my whole body is behind the punch. You can see I'm with both feet on the ground while giving the straight right punch. Watch how I'm first working his legs and his attention is with his legs and now I'm following with the right straight punch. knee techniques. Now you can see my former trainer Jan Plas is holding the bag a little bit backwards so I can place the knees on the bag. I make a right punch to the bag and make a step in between and a left knee. Then I make a left jab and a right knee. With the jab I make a step forward to the bag and with the knee I pull my left arm in front of my face to block. Then I make a left and right knee after each other in a rhythm. Make the punches in between with the steps to keep distance. Now I'm grabbing the back and make the knee from the outside to the back. I step with my left foot over my right foot and swing my right leg up and turn the back with my right knee on the back. With my left knee I step with my right foot over my left foot and swing my left leg up and turn back with my left knee. Now I do this in a rhythm after each other and turn my body in the niche. Then I make a round knee, step back and make a front knee. I make enough distance after the round knee by step back and stretch my arm and come back with a straight knee. Here you see some knee in a real fight.
towards the round knee coming to the mid section of my opponent. We use in kickboxing not only the normal front kick, but most of the time a push kick. My trainer holds the bag backwards and let it go. On that moment I lift up my knee to my chest and push the bag away. This kick is to keep your opponent away from you. I do this left and right, later on I do this in a rit rhythm after each other. In the beginning this is difficult to stay in balance, because you have to put your weight in your kick. Now I make a left push kick and a right knee. After my push kick I put left in front and step in with a right knee. You see I don't pull my left leg too much back for my distance. The same for the right side. Here we can see some push kicks to the body and face. Here we can see it's almost a sideward kick straight into his face. Again. After my kick I try to step backwards in a basic position to move back from him and get the ideal position to counter. Here I'm giving a left front kick into the face of my opponent. For the roundhouse kick we take the banana bag, this is a longer bag than a normal boxing bag. I make a left jab, step sideways and forwards to the bag with my left leg, not straight towards to the bag. I kick with my right shin on the bag and pull my left arm for my face to block. For the left kick I make a right punch and step in between, not straight towards the bag, but now to the right to put your body in the kick and kick with my left shin on the bag. Now I pull my right arm for my left face to block. Then I make left and right kicks in the rhythm after each other with the steps in between. After that I make double kicks with both legs, you see both kicks are hard because I turn my body in both kicks. After the front kick I'm countering with a right punch to the head which makes his defense go up and I'm countering with a body kick. Again watch how his defense go up and the body kick lands to the stomach.
Of course, the body kick can also be used to stop your opponent from coming forward. In this case, it's the punch what's causing the KO. The body kick after the punch brings him off balance. With the high roundhouse kicks, I keep more distance. I make the left jab and turn on the ball of my left foot, lift up my knee in a circle up and stretch my leg not complete when hitting the bag. The power is in turning my body with an explosion, not in my leg. With the left high kick I make a step in between and turn on my right ball of my foot, lift my knee up and in the turn of my body I stretch my leg and kick, step back to a basic position. Later I do this also in tempo, left and right high kicks, and make two steps in between for balance and distance. Watch how my shin is hitting my opponent. The famous leg kicks, which everybody thinks is such an easy kick, but to do it right and at the right moment, it's not easy at all. I make a left jab, step with my left leg sideways towards the back and turn my lower body into the kick. After giving the low kick, I give a middle kick and then finishing with the right kick. Middle and high. Watch the little step in between, which makes it a very powerful low kick. You can see a low kick doesn't always have to come from a front leg. You can kick your opponent on his standing leg. In this case it is given on the front leg. Watch how my balance is in the center and I can hit his leg with full power. In this case I'm stopping off my opponent by giving him a right kick to the body. Here we can see a left high kick to the head. Watch the timing. He wants to step in and I'm giving him a left high kick to the head.
Here I show why you have to step sideways forward to the back or your opponent and not straight towards the back or opponent. If you do step straight forwards, the back you will not be able to turn and put your body in the kick. This count for all kicks. When I step to the side towards, I can put my body in the kick and have a better impact on my target. So first I show how I do it wrong and then how to do it right. Now I'm building up a combination. I start with a left jab and a right leg kick. After this I follow up with a straight right punch. As the series gets longer I follow with a left kick to the body. Try to do everything with full power, keep your balance in the middle and throw your body behind all the punches and kicks. I am making a left jab, step in with my left leg, make a right kick. Turn my body and leg back and take a step in between and make a left body kick. I found the certain rhythm in my combination and takes my steps to make distance and put power in my technique. Here we can see a right left right high kick combination. So right, left, right low kick, right, left, high middle kick, right, left, high kick. Left, right, left kick, left, right, middle kick, and a left, right, high kick. I start off with a left right left liver punch and a right low kick. Then follow up with a ref light ref punch and a left high kick. So again left right left liver punch, right low kick, right left right with a left high kick. Again watch my basic position and my balance in the middle at all times.
I make a left right straight forward punch and my trainer makes a left hook. I make an evasion and counter with a right punch, left hook and a right leg kick. Watch my trainer makes a real left hook, so I really have to make the evasion for the punch. I bend through my knee and go under the left hook through. And counter with a right punch, a left hook, make a step to the left and make a right leg kick. Try to find a rhythm for these combinations and keep balance when you're making the evasion. I make a left right punch, my trainer makes a right hook, I go under the hook through and make a left hook, a right punch and a left body kick. When I make the evasion, I turn underneath in a circle to avoid his punch, so I can counter the back with a left hook and then the right punch. I step in between and follow up with a left body kick. You see I keep balance when I make the evasion and the power in the hooks comes from my leg. Now we come to the point what kickboxing is all about, to make combinations between arms and legs and knees, to move in and out from the back or opponent. You see I make two or three punches and a kick, then I make distance and start all over again. I never stay too close to the back or opponent and can see what my opponent is doing. Sometimes I grab the back and make some knees. Watch how after each combination or technique I return in the basic position. I'll keep contact with the floor at all times.
By this way I'm using the bag as my opponent. I turn him to the left and to the right and creating openings to give my knees. We practice these rounds normally for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes we have 1 minute rest to recover and to start all over again. Training in a group will push you to the limit. It is the atmosphere and the rhythm which keeps you going in a group training.
Andre Manard is controlling the rhythm by yelling and counting. Back training in a group is good to build up stamina and conditioning. I wish you good luck with this tape and hope it will improve your training skills.